let's take a closer look at the five types of antibody immunoglobulins. There are two types of IgAs. These are not typically found in the blood, but in secretions of the gut, saliva, sweat, milk, respiratory tract, and urinary tract. IgAs are part of our innate immune system and fight pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, fungus, and parasitic worms. IgDs are primarily found on the surface membrane of B cells, but account for a very tiny portion of the free-floating antibodies found in the plasma. IgDs are the least well-known antibody, however they are known to play a role in the activation of basophils and mast cells to attack invading microbes. IgEs respond to parasitic worms as well as allergens such as pollen. The effector side of the IgE is ideally matched to mast cells and basophils. And once the receptor side of the IgE comes into contact with one of these antigens, the mast cell and basophil will release histamine molecules causing the inflammatory symptoms we know as an allergic reaction. The four types of IgGs account for 70 to 80 percent of the entire immunoglobulin pool in the body. IgGs target pathogenic organisms such as bacteria, viruses, and parasitic worms. They attach to the antigens on one end while the opposite end binds with a phagocyte white cell, including macrophages, neutrophils, and natural killer cells, which absorb and destroy the antigen. IgG is the smallest of the Ig molecules, allowing it to easily migrate into the tissues of the body. Only 45% are found in the blood. Almost every man-made monoclonal antibody in clinical use today is in the IgG family. The early responders are IgMs. These function to eliminate pathogens early on in the attack before there are sufficient levels of IgGs. IgMs are known as a macroglobulin because of their large size. They are the largest of the immunoglobulins and make up 6 to 10% of the total Ig pool.